Hey everybody, it's Zero Gear Plus, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. So, in the last episode, plot stuff. It happens. So anyway, I told you guys last time that I'd meet you guys here so that we could take some care of something very important. Frog has the... Game? Frog has the element of water, as does Marley. However, Marley learned ice magic. Frog can't learn any new techs until we teach him magic. What a weird fellow. Being a frog, let's give him water. Makes sense. Ipso facto minimo magico. Frog learned how to use magic. So fortified with magic. Wanna try it out? Um... What level are we? 19... Oh, I'm at just the perfect level for this. Um, let's do this. Hi, looking for some practice? Absolutely. Alright. Let's get some magic done. Um, why I want to do this now is because if you level up too far, I forget the specific level requirements, but if you level up too far, Specchio will change form, and every time you beat him, he gives you rewards. So I don't want to skip out on that reward now, the one that I could potentially gain right now. So I don't see what the point in doing that would be. But unlike Marley, Frog learns water magic. He doesn't learn ice. Which, it kind of bothers me that he even learns... That Marley learns ice magic, because she's water elemental, too. But, eh. Take what you can get, I guess. Uh, let's have him heal up. Ugh, that was next to... Horrible. Probably should have waited a minute. Let's wait for him to, uh... Or her, actually, rather, to get here. Oh, yay! We win! Oh, and we learned the Dual Tech Ice Water and the Dual Tech Sword Stream. Grr! That was most embarrassing. Rumph! Don't make a habit of this. Here, this is for you. So here we get the spe the Specchio Special Refresher Set. Got a Magic Tab and five ethers. I am the Master of War. Whew! I sometimes scare myself. Here on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, I need to go in here. I don't know why that caught on. I just... I don't know why I like it, but... Eh. Okay, now I'm gonna put Robo back in my party. Just for a second. I'm not gonna start singing it. I refuse to start singing it. It's hard to stop myself. Uh, what am I gonna do with these power tabs? Hmm. I don't know. I'll give them the, the girls, I guess, because the guys naturally gain power status as it is. Whew. Okay, this is better than that song. I guess I'll give these to Marley, because she ends up being the weakest character in the game, even when you get her best weapon. But that's just because I don't want to see them, you know, cluttering up my inventory with stuff I can't even do anything with, so... Ah, look at that. Oh, uh, hello! You should be using the hero metal. Alright, so we got stuff. Hold on. Ruby, Ruby... Yeah, that's what I thought. You are not in my party right now. Okay, let's give you a nice upgrade here. So we got that. Gold Helm... I could steal a rock helm for you, or maybe not. Um, okay. That's definitely understandable. Um, I already healed up. That was dumb. Anyway. Let's get back to our time, shall we? Or, not our time. But we do have to go through that magic to cave. Magic to? I didn't think that could be a word. But we have to go back through the magic cave regardless, so I'll meet you guys there. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so right off the bat, speaking of bat, right off the bat, we got a bat following us. 
And let's see, some new enemies. We have vamps and gremlins. These are also mystic enemies, like the guys in the Hecron Cave, so use water to fight them. Luckily, there's just enough enemies for me to be able to use one magic, s one single targeting magic spell and take them all out. So, that's always nice. Robo is also nice in here because he has um, laser spin, which, sure enough, can hit everything. And because it's titled as magic, uh, or at least defaulted as magic, kind of a nice way to power yourself through here. Okay, this bat's starting to bug me. Hey, and we have a hit thing here. But it's still... S what I do. Aw, so it just cuts out? And the music just stops? Okay, note to self. Never fight those again. Or never talk to them unless you can do anything to them. That was kind of a bummer. Because the music should have come back. Now, I would normally start, you know, cutting through these fights and stuff, but they're going so fast. I mean, what's the real point? Is there one? I didn't think so. I mean, if it takes more than one round of attacking to beat the monsters, then fine. I'll edit it out because it'll take too long and stuff and... Whoa! Whoa! What's going on? Nah, I'm just kidding. That happens. And now we have to fight them. Unless, of course, we can avoid them, which I can't. However, now would be a good time, I guess, to show off some... Oh, God. We can't... I don't have any techniques that enable me to take these guys out really fast. Normally, when I play, I have, um... Yeah, that's not good. All my attacks are single targeting. Uh-oh. Tell me they can take a cyclone to the face. Oh, Ice Water's multi-targeting. I didn't think about that. Okay, so here's Ice Water. This is a nice little move. Um, requires water from Frog and ice from Marley, and it's a nice dual attack. It actually does quite a fair amount of damage, even though both of them have done... Well, Marley has a fairly decent magic stat. Frog, not so much, but it's not bad. I forgot we even learned Ice Water. I feel so dumb now. All right. But even more guys. So, <laughs> now that I know I can just use ice water, I'm just going to, you know, plow right through these guys. No point in worrying about, you know, editing stuff out. I mean, sure, the, the animation's a little tedious. But it is also cool looking, so I'll give it that. All right. Plus, we get nice stuff for this. And Marley learned Cure. That'll come in handy later. My only knock on it is that it's a single targeting. A note written in blood. Uh-oh. The juggler in Magus Castle strengthens his guard when attacked. Beware. I don't understand why I started talking like I was the dead man. Okay. So we made it through there. I've got just enough shelters to last me a while. Um, let's see now, I can save up, and let's go into Magus' lair. This can only be... Bone-chilling music. I love the music in this place. Not my favorite music, mind you, but I do like the music in this place. I like it a lot. Magus Castle. Doesn't look that big from out here. But it's nice and big on the inside. So. That's always nice. So, um. Let's get moving here. Okay. Oh, oh there's people here. Oh. Huh. Huh, okay. So, not like he was guarding it or anything. Mm, this is almost kind of eerie. Yeah, I would play, but I have a bad guy to kill. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. 
there's a sword back there. Can I get that? Nah. Must be decoration. And here we get a mid-ether. We got a shelter. Hmm. It's quiet. Too quiet. Where is everybody? Hmm. So let's see what's over here. Hopefully some monsters. Okay, fine. It's your treasure. Um... Nope, okay, guess I can't talk you guys out of it. Hello? Um, how'd you get here? We're the only ones that can use the get. And Queen Lean's here too. Okay. And my mom is here too. Huh. I'm utterly freaked out now. And just another empty room. Hmm, this doesn't seem right. Something about this place seems a little off. Can't place my finger on it. Everything seems just a little bit too perfect. Don't you guys think so? Oh, hey, safe point. That wasn't there before. Plot trigger! I knew something was too good to be true here. Ozzy! Welcome, Glenn. What should I say, Sir Froggy? <laughs> say, looks like you've got some replacements for Cyrus. Magus is a tad busy right now. You'll have to take up your business with me. The Swordsman Slash and Flee the Magician and... You'll have to defeat all 100 of the beasts in Magus Castle. Uh-oh. Okay, this is the big reason why I wanted to bring Marley along with me, because I actually had big plans for Ice Water. Here we have Vamps, which you guys are familiar with, and Henches. But these guys are a little bit stronger than the Henches we're familiar with. I originally intended on bringing Marley because of her nice magic stat. We can just Ice Water everything, because you'll be pretty much every battle you fight in here are like five or six monsters. If you guys haven't guessed by now, this little uh, bat here is here to keep tabs on us. Uh, you're not gonna fight me. Oh, you have to talk to the Omnicron. I got it now. Now this is where Chrono is actually gonna be a little use useful because we can use him to attack the Omnicron. Then the other two can use Ice Water on the Decedents. Or Decadents. Whatevs. I'm surprised, um, Chrono didn't hit the Omnicron a little harder. Hmm. In any case, though, that can be remedied. Ha <laughs> ha, you missed. Do oh, you missed! Alright. Now, I don't feel like, um, editing out any of these battles. So, um... I'm sorry that this is going to be a little repetitive of an episode, but at least these fights will go by quick, and it's not like anything's ridiculously going to be, you know, in the difficult, just repetitiveness and, you know, all kinds of crap, because I'm here, I can keep talking to you guys, and we don't necessarily have to be talking about the game. Um, I could actually use this time to give a little feedback about this part of the game and my experiences with it. When I played this game for the first time and I got here, I honestly thought... I shouldn't say what I'm about to say, so I'm going to go on a different tangent. This place scared the crap out of me when I was younger, because it's got the... It, it looks like something that belongs in... I don't know, um... Oh, all the people retreated back to here, that's nice. But this place looks like it's something out of... I don't know, a Castlevania game. Please help. Oh no! They're all dead too! Yeah, I didn't see that coming a mile away. And no Omnicron? Okay, fine. Ice water? Okay, fast forward. Okay. I admit, it was starting to tick me off a little bit, too. Hmm. Oh, did you get past my cadaver pals? Hello, new guy. It has been ages, Sir Slush. Just in case, 
Hello? Save state button? I'm not all too familiar with Slash's moveset, so... Sorry. That's Slash, you slimy dolt! Still playing the comedian, Eglin! We'd be singing a different tune if Cyrus hadn't been there with you last time. You'd have fit in right... You'd have fit right in with those bony fellows you just busted up. And it's boss time! This is Slash. Slash is actually very simple. He, his main mode of attack is just simply to attack. I mean, he's gonna attack you physically. He's got a little bit of hit to him. But, all in all, he's not that bad. Um, you're just gonna wanna attack him. Uh, spin cut's nice. X strike's better. Um, or maybe magic would be the way to go. No, magic's not the way to go in this fight. Just go all out physical, because we're pretty much gonna be using magic everywhere else in this place. So might as well live up physical attacks while we can. So, I guess that means that we're going to be going for an X strike right about here. Maybe some healing would be nice. Or not. I can just physically attack, I guess. Unless, of course, there's... I wonder. I want to see how good... Because Frog... I'm not actually too worried about Frog's... Um... Because Frog has the Mass Mooney. Well, the... Yeah, the Mass Mooney and the uh, Heroes Medal. So that would make it better for him to just attack solo, because he's pretty much going to be doing just about as much damage as he would if he were doing a dual attack almost. So I want to see how good Ice Sword is. I've gotten to... Yeah, I love that move. And it wasn't super great. Okay, I guess we're going back to... Uh... No, because if he uses... Yeah, we'll just attack, um, spin cut, and we'll be getting more bang for our buck that way. So I think that's a good way to go. Look at that. Okay, a little bit long on the animation. Spin cut, regular attack. Heal where available, and I think Chrono could use some right about now. Speed up a little bit. Oop, that didn't look pleasant. Okay, I don't want this to be a super long episode game. Well, heck, I might just make this a bit of a longer episode. I mean, I can't guarantee some things. Okay, you know what, Marlo? Just start attacking. I don't even care right now. Let's just fast forward just a little bit. Okay, yeah, I knew he was almost done. Otherwise, I wouldn't have just gone all out on him like that. He uses this attack that hits everybody for about 60 to 70 damage when you've beaten him. So that's how you'll know. So you're going to want to keep your health anywhere above 100 at all times. Because you can't... I don't think he can do more than 80 damage, so just be wary. Now let's get down to business. This is going to do me a whole world of good. Now he grabs the sword on the wall, and with no Cyrus to protect you, you're mine! You dare to oppose me! Now this is still Slash, but he's a lot faster now. Um, pretty much same attacks as earlier. Really, in fact, I think you can even use magic on him now. So he's just making himself more, you know, easily harmed. Okay, no, I'm wrong. Magic doesn't work at all. It's obviously been a while since I fought this guy. It's also been a while since I fought this guy legitimately, too. I There's a New Game Plus feature on this game, which I forget about from time to time. Well, I always remember it. That's actually the problem. I like playing the New Game Plus. And in the New Game Plus, even if it's your first one, the game is like 50,000 times easier. Oh man, he got all of us. Uh, let's use our world. I think that's probably a better idea than just going all out on the attack. On the offense. Oh, death water! Death water! Frog has the ability to use death water. What is there to say about Slash that I haven't said yet? I can't give him the basics of what... Okay, game, you're just making me mad now. Um, I'm not even gonna bother healing up, because he's gotta be pretty dang close to dead. Spin cut your face. Got shot. You got a shot. Okay, just skip ahead through some of this. And you're still not dead yet. Yep, saw that coming a mile away. Okay, 
So as long as none of us go anywhere below 100 HP, we should be okay. Um, okay, Chrono, thank you. That animation takes a minute. And did Frog get the winning kill? No! What is so... What is wrong with this guy? There's something ridiculous about him. I'm just kind of fast-forwarding as I see... As I see fit. Sorry, but it happens. Are you almost dead? Slash, you're killing me here. Whoa, I didn't even... Oops. And now we're okay. Can you just die soon? Okay, he's moving into different tactics. I wonder if that means he's finally dying! My timer says 22 minutes. I think every... I think... Oh. I think every hit that Frog has scored since I equipped the Mass Mooney on him has been CELL PHONE! Oh no, he's dead. Oh crap, that's bad. I didn't want to use that move. I want to answer my cell. I will more or less respond. And I can't do that right now. Oh man, this is bad. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda go all out. See if I can kill him fast. No, you gotta be kidding me, game. Alright, do you, do you live to tick me off? Apparently so. And I'm getting a little cheesed off here. Okay, we beat him. That took way long enough. Okay. Jeez. Thank you for dying. And here we get the Slasher. That's a weapon for Chrono. Speed up by two. Can't argue with that. And it's straight up stronger, so... That's nice. Okay, let's heal up with the shelter that we earned. God, man, th this was a longer episode than I ever intended. So, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. So, till then, this is Zergerplus signing off, and I'll see you guys then.